Hey guys, this is Coach Freddy. I work with guys that are headed for a career path that has a demanding uh, water uh, or swim component. Uh, Navy SEALs, Air Force PJs, and some uh, law enforcement career paths. Today we're going to take a look at getting the most out of your double arm pull. There's a tremendous amount of money to be made here, and uh, it, has to, it has to be done with a very uh, strict and scientific approach. We're going to take a look first at a, a very good uh, swimmer um, who does his CSS 500-yard uh, swim in the sixes. Let's just take a look at it, and then we're going to go back and break it down. Okay. First thing we got to talk about is uh, the streamline here. I mean, this, this is poker straight. Next thing we're going to talk about. Wind it a little bit. Slow motion. Here's what I want to say. Bam. Okay, the first thing that he's doing here, you see how his arms are, are his arms are coming out. His palms are facing outward. He's catching water here. Uh, this is the water that he's going to use to to scoop and push behind him with his uh, hand and his forearm together working as a boat paddle. Next, uh, this is a, also a very, very important component. Um, first of all, look at the flexibility right through here. And take a look at what he's building here, all right? See this curve? He is storing up energy uh, in that curve. He's hyperextended uh, his back and his shoulders. And he's what he's doing is he's preparing to whip that down. He's, he's going to execute almost a whipping motion. Like if you took a piece of green bamboo and you bent it back and you let it go. That's the energy that, that he's applying to this. Now, his, his arms are going to, his forearms and hands are going to go vertical, all right? And you can see he's preparing to put a lot into this. This isn't done casually. He scoops inward. He keeps those arms vertical as long as he can, and then he snaps it back. His head is facing down. He's not looking forward. Every, every mark on the wall here that you see is five feet, all right? So you can get an idea of, of how, just how far he's going on this. And this line here is halfway across the pool, exactly halfway across the pool. And then coming back. This is exactly the stroke you would want to use to swim underwater, too. See the, see the hands that are they're facing out? He's catching water here already. I want to turn on slow motion. And I want to 
want you to look at this whipping effect here. This is where the power comes from. He's using his whole body, not just his arms. Here it comes. There's the extend and the whip. And then he's into the stroke. It's rare that this swimmer pops up out of the water before the halfway mark. Okay, there's the extension. And there's the whip. Using this technique to swim underwater, we're talking about uh, getting across a 25-yard pool in typically two to three strokes. Um, it, it's the most efficient way to swim underwater. And if, if you take a, a hard look at what you're doing and try to apply some of these principles, uh, you're, you're going to have a whole lot easier time. Um, breaking it down one more time here. We come off the wall straight with a very good streamline. His hands are stacked on top of each other. That's what a streamline means. His biceps are pressing hard against the side of his head. Right there. The arms face out. We'll watch it coming back the other way. When he breaks streamline, his palms are facing outward and upward to help him with that extension. So give it a try. And hopefully this will be another way that you can shave off some of your uh, 500-yard CSS swim time. Happy New Year. Talk to you guys soon.